Hello there, folks. Kirk here with Kirk Shoot on a Plaster. What I'm going to show you guys today is we're doing a text coat, a blown on finish. How do we know this house has a text coat? You see that corbel detail in all that woodwork? That's a clear indication that the house has a text coat. What is a text coat? Follow me around here, okay, please. The text coat is they take uh, aggregate, which is sand, they take a bonding agent, acrylic, and color, and they spray it on a house. Now, you say, how do you know? Well, here's a clear indication again. This is wood. They spray this text coat on wood, the corbels, all this is wood. Wood, wood detail, wood framing. Uh, you see that emblem up there? That's sprayed also. The good, the good about uh, text coats are they generally waterproof a lot of things well, depending on if you're in a hot area such as Livermore or where, where there's a lot of heat, they'll do this right here. They'll crack because the heat actually exposes them. Right here, if you could zoom in here. Now this sand, they throw in bags of aggregate that is uh, sifted, meaning if I, I'm getting ready to, to apply a dash finish, I'm gonna blow the finish on. And as I blow it on, if I just use regular cement, the sand is different uh, sizes. Some of it is Sicilia, which is fine, like dust, and some of it's very heavy, so it wouldn't match this. So what I've done is, we just turned the compressor off to show you folks this, and the mixer. Now what we've done is, I've got bags, which we're gonna throw in our mixer, and the bags are La Habra bags. That way, that means that the sand is sifted. It's the same aggregate as this, the same consistency. So when I dash, my, my dash will match this uh, finish here. Anyway, we're gonna show you that. All right guys, getting ready to start dashing. Now, we've had a lot of people come by here, a lot of contractors who built this right here. They all want to see how we do all this intricate stuff and how all these pillars came out and a whole bunch of other things. Most of them says, wow, that finish is perfect. You guys are real good. This finish, if it's painted like this, will be an eyesore. It looks like it'll match, but it won't. We pulled out the aggregate with sponge floats, but this is much heavier. I'm going to show you how I do this by myself as opposed to one guy throwing the mud in here. I'm going to turn this on and it's going to drown me out because it's loud. We have a compressor in the garage, garage doors covered to try to take down some of the sound. Anyway, when I release some of the pressure, it's going to get loud. I'll show you briefly how we do this. Okay, I'm opening it. All right, I usually put this between my legs like so, pour it. I'll pour a little bit. When I'm, if I'm going way above my head, I'll use just a little bit because it's hard to hold it a little bit. All right, here we go. Just my air, I do it right here. Left air, gets heavier. Now it's heavier. Sometimes when you're matching a uh, text coat, you want it less air. So here we go. I'm going to give it a little less air. We're going to put a little bit on the top. See how that works? And they're going to paint this, so I'm not really worried about the color. All it is is giving it a little bit more sand, and that's all I'm doing. I'm giving it a little bit more sand that, when it's painted, will blend in real well. This matters, I'm going to turn it off, this matters quite a bit the air. If I want my aggregate heavier, I turn the air down. If I want it lighter, well, I can change my material and then turn up the air so it'll really give it a lot of force, a lot of different textures. Anyway, I've got about six to eight hours today of doing this. By the time I'm done, all I will have is just my glass. Where I take them off, clean, my whole body's going to be filled with this. 
messy job if you guys ever try to do this stuff. Anyhow, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. I'm going to get back busy and finish what we started. As usual, we'll see you guys on the next one.